Hello and welcome back, gods. Now we need to create the concept for damage types. Unreal Engine 4 has a special class we can use for this. First, we want to create a parent damage type class. This will be what all of our damage types will derive from, so we can override functionality, as you will see when we actually apply the damage in this tutorial. Let's get started. We're going to go into the editor, right click, Create a new folder, call it damage types, enter into that folder, create a new blueprint class. You're going to want to click this all classes, it's usually collapsed. Click this, type damage type, select the damage type, and then click select. Call this parent damage type, and open this parent damage type. Go to the upper right and click function, create a apply damage function, and hit compile. Now you want to minimize this, go back into your content browser, go up one folder again to your third person character, double click your third person character, go into your event graph, by clicking right here on the left hand side, we already have it open. Right click your event graph and type any damage. Select the event any damage. Notice we have a damage type here. We'll pull off of this and call cast two. We can now cast to our parent damage type. We can drag off our parent damage type and call to the apply damage function that we just created and hit compile. Now, we want to take note of what the event is passing us, which is damage as a float, instigated by as a controller object, and damage causer. We are now going to want to go into our apply damage and create the input pins that match these input pins. So we'll double click our apply damage. We'll then click our apply damage and in our right hand side here we have new parameters we can put in damage select float put in instigated by and select the controller here and it's an object reference and then create damage causer And this is an actor. We will also want to create the victim, which is the third person character that we will pass through here. So we'll create an input and call it victim and label this as a third person character and set it up as an object reference. Now we have damage instigated by, damage caused or damage causer, sorry, and victim. That looks a lot like our event any damage. So we'll come into here, and we now can see since we compiled in here, uh, our inputs on our apply damage. So we go into our third person character event graph again, and drag across all of our nodes, now, we don't have an input pin for victim, but the victim is the third person character that we are in, so we pull a pin out and we put a reference to self. And we'll hit compile. Okay, now that we have all this set up, we can actually create our damage types by going back to our content browser and going into our damage types. Right clicking our parent damage type and creating a child blueprint class. We will call it physical damage and we'll open physical damage. We'll go to the upper right here and click the override function and click override apply damage. And we'll see now we have the same function that we had in our parent damage type, but we can now override the functionality. We'll want to delete the call to a parent 
and we'll want to apply this damage now. So in the first tutorial, we created the character status component. So we'll call on the third person character. So we'll call from the victim and get the character status component down here, get. And we can do get physical resistance. We take the damage and we minus the float. And we're just going to make the physical resistance directly negate any physical damage where there's no kind of percentage calculation or anything, just keeping it really simple here. We then have our damage. We want to make sure it is not greater than or equal to zero. If it is, we'll just call to a branch. Or I'm sorry. Returns greater than or equal to. Yeah, so if it is, I'm sorry, less than, less than or equal to zero. Let's pull this in a little tighter here. If it's less than or equal to zero, we won't do anything because we've negated all of the damage. But if it isn't zero or less than, then we'll want to apply the damage. So we'll go back to our character status component, uh, component and we'll get current health. And we will minus the float of the damage that we calculated. And then we'll set current health To that. Now, because we set current health, we'll also want to call from our character status component, which we can reference right here since we're calling it all the way back, and call check status, which will check to see if the character is dead or not. That is all for physical damage. We don't really care about who causes the damage right now or what it was instigated by. We're just applying the damage to the victim. Now that we have physical damage, we can go back to our editor. We can right click it and we can hit duplicate and we can write magical damage. We'll open the magical damage. It has the same function. However, instead of physical resistance, we just want to pull out magical resistance and then delete the physical resistance node and hit compile. Okay, for damage types, that's all. But now we also want to create the concept of a healing damage. And don't let the misnomer fool you. This will benefit the victim. Instead of just duplicating the physical damage or anything, we'll once again go to the parent damage type. We'll right click and create child blueprint class. We'll name this healing damage and we'll open this up. Again, we'll go to the upper left hand corner. We'll hit apply damage. We'll delete the parent node. We'll pull out the victim, call to the character status or the character status component at the very bottom here, the git. And we will get current health and we will add the damage to the current health and then set current health again all the way through and then from the character status component, check status. Okay, and now we have healing. And that's all. We've now created three different damage types that we can use and a parent damage type. Check out the next video where we'll create a campfire that utilizes these uh, damage types and heals you. 
Until the next one, have a good one.